Hello there, welcome back to Big Rig Bonanza, where we take a look at some shorts that are trucking related, sometimes they're crashes, and you know, other times they're just kind of fun stuff to take a look at, and let's get to the material for this week. Bad driver, never misses their exit. Oh, look at that. Oh. Look at this crap! That one flipped over, this one jackknifed, and then he just keeps going! What the freaking hell? Unbelievable! And you know those two, those two truck drivers are going to get in trouble. And if they don't have dash cams, they can't really prove anything. Those, those, those two wind up in, you know, a wreck or jackknife. The other car's just like, eh, well, not my problem, and they just keep driving. Whoa. And that truck didn't disconnect? I would have disconnected from that thing, because you know it, it, it's going to spread, and it's going to get that truck. And if you can use the 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 uh, landing gear crank and get it down real quick or mostly down, unhook that truck, man. You don't want to lose the truck. Okay, this one's got some music, so we'll turn that off. All right, coming up to an intersection here. Red light. Okay. All right. Well, there goes a flat better. I see a truck that's going to be turning left. Right over here. Uh, how is this going to go? Okay, he's getting out of the way. Okay. What? Okay, he's moving over to the side. All right. Take it slow. Take it nice and easy. Oh, those tandems are all the way to the back. You know this is going to suck. Is he going to tear up that car? You got room! Go! Go! Oh, jeez. Look at that. I mean, this driver can't do anything. If he keeps going, he's going to hit the car. He's got to stop. He's doing the best that he can. Everyone else is making it difficult. Yeah, go on. Get moving. Oh, my word. That car is making it so much more difficult for that truck driver. He really is. He made it. He made it. Okay. Um, you know, that was a good video. I mean, he didn't get into an accident. I was wondering what was going to happen. See, that that's what makes this show different. Uh, from Bonehead Trekkers or for you know some other show because I don't show just the crashes or anything like that. I show different types of stuff for trucking, and it was kind of cool to see this. You know, it was a tough situation, but that driver was able to get uh, get out of that, and you know he did what he what he needed to do. So, good job, driver. Truck coming up, truck coming up. Slow down. It's not like there was any room to merge. Well, maybe there was. <laughs> maybe there was. It's hard to say on a situation like that. It's very possible he didn't think that that was a lane off to the right, that that was actually a shoulder. 
and so he was getting into what he thought was the lane so i can see what was happening there i'd say let's not be too quick to judge on that one oh what's going to happen here is there already a truck that flipped over Well, good. I'm I'm glad that worked out because it didn't work out for that other truck. All right, what's going to happen here? Oh, 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 here he comes. He lost his brakes or something. Let's go back and look at that. Let's see. I mean, I don't see a hill or anything. I mean, there's the mountains back there. I mean, it's smoking. That's got to be his, his brakes. I'm so... Jeez. Oh, Air brakes, maybe? I mean, what the heck is going on there? I, I think it was... I don't think this guy was like, no, I gotta get it there, I gotta get it there. There has to be something like his brakes, but why... What about his air brakes? Did he just not do his pre-trip? Ah, that's a very good possibility. Alright, we got another thing here that's got some music. Oh! 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 Oh, man. Good save. Although, what was causing it to flip over in the first place? Let's take a closer look at that. Is it high winds? No, he's turning. He's going too fast. He's turning. He's going way too fast. That's got to be what it is. And his weight is shifting. Looks like the flat bit is bending there, too. And how is he getting out of that situation? It looks like he's turning to the left to get this trailer to, to, to head back over there. Oh, my word. And then... Wow. I don't know. On one hand, I'm like, yeah, that truck driver should be uh, congratulated for being able to save it from that situation. But the on the other hand, I'm like, what kind of driver is this? Uh, like, how do we know that this isn't going to happen again? And then he won't be able to save it. So... It looks like he's driving way too fast, is what it looks like. Driving way too fast around that curve. All right, what do we got going on here? Come on there, four-wheeler, back up. Don't be, a, don't be a jerk. Back up. Give him some room. He's not going to back up. Now he backs up. It's like, dude, he doesn't want to hit you. Yeah, folks, I mean, if you're not a truck driver, if you see someone uh, turning a corner, don't just sit there. Well, I'm not going to move. You should know how to drive. He does know how to drive. You need room to turn that freaking trailer around a corner. Do the guy a favor. Back up because he doesn't want to hit you. So that way he can he can go on his way. We're not asking much here. Because, hey, if he does hit you, it's going to waste your time and it's going to waste his time. Is it worth it? Is it worth it to, to have an ego and, I'm not going to move. Sure, it's going to be your problem if you hit me. Yeah, and how much time is that going to waste of yours? All right, we, what do we got going on? Wait a minute, what the hell? 
there's a grocery cart on the back of that with someone sitting what what wait are they on the freeway let's look at that again is that an actual freeway is it a highway does the driver even know that he's back there I mean he's not going to be able to see them in the mirrors well that gives a whole new meaning to uh, hitchhiking and getting a free ride and sadly if something were to happen to that guy they're going to blame the truck driver well you should have walked around your truck and made sure there was nothing there there is some truth to that I mean how quickly is someone going to be able to grab a cart jump in it and hook up to the back you know and, and grab the back of that uh, uh, bumper I mean if you're walking around your truck wouldn't you like get the feeling that someone is somewhere near you I don't know it it's hard to say with this one but yeah I mean something happens to that guy they're gonna blame the truck driver there's no doubt about that Okay, on this one, we got a Reddit post. So my company makes us do these stupid online safety training things each month. This is one of the questions this month. Want to run that by me again? Okay, so here is the question. A liquid has a flash point of 167 degrees Fahrenheit Celsius. What the hell is that? At room temperature, it will do nothing burn melt kind of question is that someone's like 167 <laughs> flash points don't melt either way it's do nothing since neither 167 fahrenheit nor 167 celsius is room temperature where the cargo is at apparently another one is like do you mean that liquids don't melt <laughs> was at a loves in oklahoma and discovered they are piloting this at <laughs> piloting <laughs> at a loves pilot this at f select locations to get drivers feedback and only allowing fuel customers parking and eliminating reserves i didn't think loves had reserved parking i thought it was just pilot and flying j and ta that would do that type of stuff and loves would not that's why a lot of people try to park at loves because they have free parking yeah now yeah, maybe they are trying to do something at that particular one fuel customers only overnight parking maybe it's not just reserves maybe it's just parking in general still that's kind of messed up i mean what if that's the only only truck stop within miles Shame on you, loves, for trying to do something like that. Come on. Don't make things tougher for truckers because it's hard enough as it is. Oh my god, he's going All right, what do we got? Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa. Get out. The guy's over there. Look. He's at, he's trying to get out of his get driver's out. window. Get out. What and this other driver's like, "Oh man, I'm just going to go around this way." What? Freaking hell! Well, that truck is definitely jackknife. Look at that. The whole front is going underneath. Well, maybe not, but you, yeah, you can see that. Look, the cat cab is almost submerged. Anna, yeah, there's another truck. You know, we just drive right by. The big thing gotta make that money I mean you know it's like they're not even paying attention that one uh, truck got swept over you know it's just kind of like well it doesn't matter uh, you know if it's gonna happen it's gonna happen but you know I gotta get going all right this one's got some music on it too they put a stop sign here for a reason he they are way beyond the line do you see that right over there that's the reason why that line is there to give trucks room to make that right turn do you see that there's two cars and the guy's yelling at him truck driver's not doing anything wrong 
those two cars did not stop at that at that line they just went forward past it there's a reason why that line was sitting there so that way there's plenty of room for a truck and trailer to go around that corner all right we got another reddit post wanted to share how i decorated my sleeper just started my job this year and i want to live in my truck so i want it to be nice and cozy look at that <laughs> that is cool that is pretty cool you know something like that it seems you know you it, it really feels like you can kind of just escape from the whole truck thing that is that's pretty neat i think it's very creative okay well that's all we've got for this week i hope you enjoyed that be sure to subscribe and click that like bell and all that other good stuff so you can get notified of more trekking content which we do every tuesday and don't forget there's older trekking content that you can check out here on the channel as well so be sure to check out those playlists you never know what you might find thanks for watching have a killer awesome day